I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Friday, July 10th. 28 year old Susanna Coetzee of Newport Beach has been sentenced to 127 days in jail after pleading guilty to trying to extort $15,000 from a man she met online and falsely reporting that he raped her. Authorities say Coetzee met the 37 year old victim at SeekingArrangement.com, a website billed as, quote, the elite sugar daddy dating site. The pair ended up in an Anaheim hotel and began to have consensual sex when Coetzee demanded money. When the man refused, Coetzee told him he had raped her, then called 911 to report the claim and later sent the victim text messages demanding money in order to drop the rape accusations. Coetzee was arrested in April at the block in Orange, where she arranged to meet the man and exchange $5,000 for a letter clearing his name. While on a break at work yesterday at 10 a.m. in Westminster, Juan Gonzalez, a machine operator from Santa Ana, heard the loud engine of his Chevrolet Silverado truck and turned to see his chrome wheels spinning away down the street. Gonzalez called to another co-worker, also on break, and the two men went off in pursuit of the would-be car thief. Gonzalez called police, and when the thief hit backed up traffic, as many as six police cars arrived, chased a man running from the truck, and caught him. 39-year-old Giovanni Pantoja of Los Angeles was then taken into custody. The Silverado appeared to have damage of two of the wheels, a broken window, and a flat tire, which Gonzalez fixed before driving home. The owners of a home in Cyprus where a woman is accused of leaving her kids overnight while she was off smoking pot are working to clean up the residence so city officials can declare it habitable. 35-year-old Allison Ebert turned herself in Tuesday after police found her young daughters alone in a home with knee-deep piles of trash, maggots, and overflowing toilets. Conditions so bad, authorities were forced to condemn the home. The two girls and a third sibling were taken into protective custody. Ebert is due for a custody hearing today and is due in court August 2nd. Six members of the Mission Viejo Nadadores Swim Club competed in a 26-mile relay swim across the Catalina Channel Thursday morning to raise money for the Children's Hospital of Orange County. The team has raised nearly $5,000 so far, but is still accepting donations. The swim was the idea of 15-year-old Sasha Westberg, who, with the rest of the team, would like to make the swim an annual benefit for the hospital. Huntington Beach has been named one of the nation's most dog-friendly cities. The Irvine-based magazine Dog Fancy named Surf City Top Dogtown USA in the medium-sized city category, with San Diego and Carmel by the Sea winning large and small city categories. In honor of the award, the magazine will present a $2,000 check to the city's Dog Beach at a city council meeting later this month. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at ocregister.com.